glad to have you a part of Messenger Church's Ponder This. Every day, as you know, I'm on for, oh, two to five minutes. I, I, I try, I try to keep it a little short, but every now and then I'll roll over. I think I did that yesterday. Don't, but, but, but I don't take back a word. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm believing that the Holy Ghost is going to bless everyone listening to me right now, that the spirit of truth, the spirit of joy, power is going to shake you to wake you. God shakes you not to, not, 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 not to do anything bad to you. God shakes you to wake you because he doesn't want you to miss what's coming. A lot of people are going to sleep through the new things that God is doing, according to Isaiah 43. So God's going to shake us and wake us. Hey, hey, let me tell you this. Service Sunday morning at 10 o'clock right here at Messenger Church. I'm ministering on the subject, be ready, be ready. The Lord's about to come. The rapture is about to take place. We're about to be caught up out of here. Everything going on around us tells me that it's not going to be long until we, we, we see the gathering together that was talked about in the book of 1 Thessalonians. God's about to get us out of here, all right? And so we want to talk to you about that. And we want you to experience what God is doing. Let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I'm a firm believer in the fact that the Holy Spirit can do more in five minutes than I can do in an hour in five minutes. So we surrender our service into the hands of the Holy Spirit. A couple of Sundays ago, uh, uh, yeah, two Sundays ago from this one coming up, the Spirit of God got to moving in worship, and we move right through worship with the Spirit of God just moving. I didn't preach. I talked a little bit, but I, I, didn't, I didn't preach the sermon that, that I had intended to preach. I knew, hey, God's Word's going to be here no matter what, but God ministered to people all over this house. I love it. I love it. Now, now I'm, I'm not saying you do that all the time, but every now and then you need a shot in the arm to help you get through whatever you're going through. And the Spirit of God knows how to build us up. And he did it that day. He did it. And we see that in, in, in our services where the power of God's moving. I hear people say, I wish it was like it was in the old day. I thank God for today because this is an hour of opportunity. When evil breaks loose, when, when, when sin is abounding everywhere, that's our opportunity to magnify Jesus and let the world know he can get you out of this mess if you'll just follow the one, all right, that was in the beginning of this old creation. God will do it every single time. So 10 o'clock, if you miss me at 10 o'clock live, you can get me at 1030 live stream on Facebook or youtube.com slash messenger church. Once you go there, you're going to find an archive of a lot of sermons that's been preached. Even our Ponder This is on there. All right. Anything that I've done, we leave it on. And uh, we have to go back and take it off. We will after a while. But some people uh, go back and get us. All right. Let, let's get into our thought for the day. Where am I? Oh, goodness gracious. Here we are. It is at the foot of an empty cross that we find grace on display. Let none ever forget that the undeserved favor we experience each and every day came with a price. Because of the price paid, we are eternally indebted to the one who stood in for us. That one is Jesus. How could we give him anything less than our all? To him this day, I reaffirm and I recommit my now and my forever into his hands. Great thought there. Great thought. It's at the foot of that cross that the ground is level. There's no big eyes, no little U's. It's at the foot of that cross that we come to understand the sacrifice that was made for us. But it's that empty tomb that shows us that death couldn't hold him. He conquered death and hell for you and me. You need to understand that. It took the cross. It took the blood. And my friend, that has not changed. It still takes it now. God bless you. Ponder on that. Think on that. All right. Rolled over a little bit, but I don't take any of it back. I pray you've been blessed. Hey, I would love to meet you. Love to have you a part of what God's doing at Messenger. So, I'll see you Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. If you have a home church, you better be there. 
God's moving, God's blessing, the word of God's being preached. Be faithful. I love you. Goodbye. And remember, all things are possible to him that believes.